Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I am not in my greenhouse today, I am in my messy spare room office. If you don't know already, I have my own online shop which is wildvineshop.co.nz so I'm a New Zealand based um, houseplant, indoor plant shop. I sell houseplants and basically everything you need to grow amazing plants. It is a long weekend here in New Zealand and I have a little sale going on over the long weekend, so Mon uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday and I have woken up, <laughs> like I'm so happy, I've woken up to so many beautiful orders, um, I've got one of the biggest orders that I have got so far and it is for a local person which makes me even more excited that was my whole like purpose in starting up this online business is that here where I live there are pretty much just your hardware stores like Bunnings and Mitre 10 to get house plants from we do have a Palmer's but that's sort of where the passion came from is I wanted to provide my local planties with awesome more uncommon house plants and to see these local orders coming through makes me so so happy um, yeah I just it makes me so happy so today is going to be like a little day in the life behind the scenes of a small business owner I thought I would just show you me getting the orders sorted packing them a lot of them actually pick ups which is really really cool but yeah let's just jump straight in so I'm in my messy office I've printed out all the orders that I have so far so this is where I keep all my packing supplies and I have this little plastic <laughs> fold out table um, that I do all my packing on. I'm just going to lay out all the orders on the table here. I should add that it is oh. Saturday so it's the first day of the sale and it's like 9am in the morning so a lot of these orders came through early early this morning and some even at midnight like <laughs> like ugh, my customers are wild and I love them for it so I have seven orders to do this morning and a few of them are quite big which is amazing like I love it so what I'm going to do now is just start packing Okay, so that is all the accessories all sorted. Now I am going out to the greenhouse to select all the plants, which I'm so, so excited so about. As I write a little list of all the plants that I need to get for my orders. And one of them is actually in this little prop box here. So I'm going to get one out. And it is one of these gorgeous McCode's Patola Jewel Orchid. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I give up. Let's go to the greenhouse. Actually, one of the plants I have to pick, which was a local pickup, was one of these beautiful, monstrous philodendron imbies. So this is going to one of my lovely local customers. They're massive, I love them so much. 
but obviously because of its size it can chill there with the others until they come to pick it up um, but let's go to the greenhouse I know I've said that like five times already but let's go okay so I have a section in my greenhouse where I put the plants that are for sale um, which is over this side makes it easier for me to come in and pick the ones that have sold and saying that though not everything can fit here so I've only got a few here so I'm just gonna go through and pick the plants so I have my list stuck to my tripod so I can see it so we have oh actually some of them are still in the shed as well from the market um, anyway what do we got Crimson Queen Hoya Crimson Queen that one is gone um, Syngoniums so I've got this beautiful oh the sunshine this beautiful Syngonium Elbow which is gone have this stunning Syngonium Windlandii you see it in the sun it is so velvety and shiny and beautiful so that one is gone um Hoya Serpens Hoya Serpens that is also gone and it has one two two peduncles on it and one two three four growth points I think everything else is still all the bigger plants are still in my shed so let's go in there and pick the rest of the plants so this shed is actually going to be my office space there's a lot of work to do before this can be my office views out to my garden so I can watch Brody playing outside while I'm working um, it is such a nice decent space so I'm so excited for this to be my office I can't wait to have a desk that I can stand up and work on and not get a sore back because the little table I've got I'm always hunched over and man do I get a sore back. Anyway, I'm rambling, let's pick the rest of the plants. Let's put them up over here out of reach of little fingers. So we have this beautiful philodendron Florida. They're multi-planted or they're double planted. So there's two plants in one pot. So that gorgeous, gorgeous gal is gone. Um, Florida Silver Satin Pothos, where you at? You are. I am so beyond proud of these Silver Satin Pothos. They are like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven little plants in this one pot and I know the sun is being a bit annoying but look how full and beautiful they are I grew these I grew these all myself and I'm just so proud of them I had two of them one I sold at my market that I had last weekend and I'm pretty sure the lady that bought this one she messaged me and she couldn't make it to the market um, so she waited for the online sale and she snapped this one up Oh, I just, I'm really sad to see these go. They are so beautiful. One of my favorite plants. I'm a proud mum, okay? This one hasn't sold, but gorgeous philodendron micans. Again, I grew, the, grew these all myself. Multi-planted, lots of little cuttings to make a nice full plant. Um, I wonder if you can see it in the sun. Can you see it glistening? Kind of. But yeah, I gave these a water and now they're looking absolutely fantastic. I don't think I actually, I didn't put these back online, I really should. But I was waiting to see how they perk up after their, after their watering. Okay, so that is everything, that is all the plants. I've got a tray full of beautiful plants here. Obviously, I'm leaving the big one out there until they come and pick it up. And yeah, let's go and get these all picked up, ready to be picked up. So, I don't quite know what I'm going to do. Um, so this one is for this lady. And I think all of those. 
So actually all of these plants are for one person. <laughs> Plus the big um, imbi outside is for them as well. So I might actually put their plants in a box. Because I think that'll be easier than a bag. And then let's see if I can fit them all in. So I'm actually going to mark off everything to make sure that I have everything here. So I've got the Windlandii, I've got the Alvo, I've got the Crimson Queen, Philodendron Invi is outside, got the Florida, got the Serpens. So I'm just going to write on their invoice. Plus Philo Invi. Just in bigger letters so I can see it and make sure I don't forget when they come and pick it up. What has the little monkey done with my stapler? I like to recycle my packaging as much as possible so I actually use my um, shopping countdown supermarket bags for my pickups. Uh, you know, saves me a cost. It's repurposing bags that would usually probably go to recycling or to waste so I like to yeah I like to recycle them so that beautiful little skin dapsis is also a pickup and what I like to do is again to save on um, like packaging and excess excess waste that we don't really need I write little messages onto their invoice so they get the invoice with a little thank you message um, without all the extra packaging like the thank you cards and business cards and everything like that I just keep it simple write a nice little personalized note on the invoice yeah I just I like to keep packaging and my waste and anything that's excessive I like to keep it very minimal because like how I see it like yeah thank you little thank you cards that go in packages they're really cute and I, they're really nice um, but like what do you do with them you read them and then you throw them away so I guess if I just put it on a bit of paper they can either like recycle the paper or they can use it to light their fire with um, yeah there's no you know what I mean you know what I mean I'm a sustainable gal so let me write Tracy a little message on here. Again, recycled boxes. So for the orders I send in the post. I use new boxes um, with my logo and stuff on but for like pickup orders and things like that I use recycled boxes which I get from either um, things that were sent to me or things that get sent to my parents because um, they also they own a retail store and they get excess boxes so I like to recycle them as well. Just gonna tape up the sides. Like so. <laughs> like so. And now I can put um, this order in. So this awesome order here is for for one of my locals. Um, Liz, if you're watching, shout out to you girlfriend. <laughs> she is amazing. So I'll just pop everything into the box. I should actually give her a shout out. Like if you don't follow her on Instagram, you probably should. Um, I will put her Instagram up here. She is the Hoya Queen. So I'm assuming that all these are for her beautiful Hoya collection. Oh, okay, that's right. 
There was one more thing I had to get for this order. And it is a hundred seven centimeter square prop pots. I'm really sorry if this video is boring for you. <laughs> um, I don't know, I find these videos really interesting. Like I love watching how other businesses like work and run and what they do. You can certainly learn a thing or two if you are a small business owner from watching these sort of things. So, this is another local order all sorted. And I think the rest are for shipping. So anything with non-perishables, I like to package up and get the couriers all booked. So come like, it is a long weekend this weekend, so I say come Monday I'm not like frazzled with packing a ton of orders. Um, if it's a normal weekend, I pack on Sunday. So yeah, if any non-perishable orders that I can pack up, package up and get ready, I do as they come in so it's not so overwhelming on the day before I post them. Um, other than that, I leave all the perishables, all the plants until Monday morning. I package them up and then they get picked up in the afternoon. So they spend the least amount of time all packaged up in a box as possible but I do get them all ready to go so I tape off all the soil I, and I just sit them in the box and let them get as much light as they can before I post them away. So I'm going to package up all the non-perishable orders that I can package up and get ready to go. So this gives you a sort of idea of how I package my orders so I try and be plastic free as much as possible. I just use this um, brown paper as my packaging. The only other time I will use bubble wrap is if I'm wrapping something breakable like glass or ceramic um, or a super fragile plant that I can't use my normal cardboard packaging for. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I've got the three orders that I can pack now that are non-perishables. Um, I have all the pickup orders sorted, plus one cute little Julie orchid who's just going to chill there. And then if I get any more orders, I still have a little bit of space to do some packing. But I think that is everything for today.